What is up guys, DZ Fear, and this is not an original idea. Um, this is something that I've done before in the past, but I know that CMO did pretty much this exact video. I thought I would still record it because I, I bought these before the video was uploaded. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do a, pro a video where I don't really, I mean, I guess I'm going to technically open these, but I want to show you a deck that you can build just using these three structure decks. Um, there's a lot more that you can do if you just buy a couple rank fours or if you had them lying around. Um, but one of the reasons that I thought that this structure deck is so great for doing this is because the uh, reprints in it are like so helpful. And I'll try to zoom in here. Um, basically, uh, some of the important reprints are Twin Twisters and Quaking Mirror Force. That makes this deck um, a lot better than a lot of the other structure decks just from that standpoint. But then it pretty much includes all of the dinosaurs that you could possibly need to build this deck. Um, outside of like, I don't believe it includes the Jurak tuner, but it doesn't include in the extra deck either. And that's really the sort of downside of this. But um, when you look at decks like the DDD structure deck that didn't include the slimes or a lot of the extra deck cards, that they weren't really playable out of the box. But I think if you just, uh, I mean, I'll show you what you can build if you don't buy anything else. But even if you uh, just have this and like one Logia and one Dolka, you actually have a pretty decent deck. So uh, anyway, I'll open one of them on camera so you guys can see at least what's in them. And then I'll pause the video and go through and make the deck so you guys can see uh, a way that you can sort of build a 40-card semi-playable deck out of just $30. Um, so anyway, it includes the, probably the rule book. Oh, it's a beginner's guide. It's not even a rule book. Wow. You have to go online to get the real rule book. Um, it includes a smat. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Is that what people say about these mats? The paper, so they're shitty. What cards does it tell me to buy? Um, Dual Saga, because Loggy is in there. None of those cards seem very good in Dinosaurs. Uh, neither do... I guess Lost Wind could be good. Oh, yeah, I buy some Invasion Vengeance just to pull some Dimensional Barriers, because that happens a lot. Um, so, yeah, there's the let's piece of paper. And then the, the real, it's the real one this time. Sorry for the bait the other day. Anyway, still kind of sick. But uh, let's go through this um, a lot faster than the other one. Because I this is more about the, the building, um, the new deck. But the, the hollows are the level 2 new guy. Um, the ultimate conductor Triano. Over Raptor, Lost World, which uh, this card isn't super great. Maybe people are playing it right now. I, I actually don't know if people topped this deck over the past weekend at regionals. Um, I don't know if people were playing Lost World. Obviously, you won't when True Kings come out, like uh, the field spell and stuff. But uh, this artwork, I actually think is just some of the best artwork. I guess I can just hold it up. Um, there are so many old school dinosaur cards on this artwork. I I actually just love it. I think it's super interesting. There's there's so many cool things going on in the background. Um, so I feel like I would play it just for that. But uh, anyway, and Survival's End. So there's five hollows. Um, they made that change with Structure Decks a while ago. But now you're getting two Ultras and three Supers. And it just makes sense. It gives you a lot more value out of it. <laughs> um. Okay, so this one's actually in order sort of um so we have two of the mega smashers which is like a card that if this was released um in 2012 in dino rabbit format it would have been like game breaking like because then you would have had this and sabersaurus instead of the caboozles and that would have just been like crazy so holy shit but what could have been um we have a lot of the cards that are actually in the other one because we have these these two guys who are in the original structure deck as well um the the superconductor triano um, I don't think this guy, maybe he's had a reprint, but for a while, he didn't have a reprint, and, uh, that was kind of weird. Um, some of the Battle Pack Dinosaurs, uh, this guy's actually really good in Battle Pack. What else do we got here? Um, these two, some high-level dinosaurs, you know, because they gotta put those in there. Those aren't very good, but, it's whatever. Trying Infinity again, uh, I don't know why I keep giving us this. The Gilosaurus, for that zoo combo, I don't think this one has, yeah, this structure deck doesn't have two Gilosaurus, so you can't zoo combo in this structure deck, but. Um, the Baby Cerasaurus, just in case you don't have it. Miscellaneousaurus, that's a pretty recent reprint. But once again, one of the reasons I like the structure deck is because it includes cards like this that, uh, <laughs> otherwise it, this could have been a card that you would have had to buy elsewhere. And like we saw with the slimes, they, they rose like a dollar a piece. So I, I don't know how expensive this would have been, but it, I'm glad that they included it so you don't have to buy it. Um, this shitty card, uh, that guy, Chewbone, Rescue Rabbit, first common printing, looks really weird. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, Fossil Dig. 
Really glad they included this, um, just for the sake of, I don't want to look for mine. Big Evolution Pill, I believe that was in the last one. Twin Twisters, which, uh, looks really weird as a, a common. It's weird seeing cards like Twin Twisters and Rescue Rabbit as commons. Um, yeah, it's just interesting. Uh, Burial, Swords of Concealing Light. Painful Decision, another card that has not been common before. Um, this is one of my favorite card artworks just in general, so, uh, I already have a playset, but, um, it looks cool. Unexpected Die. Terraforming. Uh, all the terraforming prints, even the commons, have been pretty expensive for the last, like, year. So, uh, another reprint is very welcome. Survival of the Fittest. This thing, I don't know what that does. Um, Ojama Trio, I guess that's to combo with the, the Ultimate Conductor Trano. Nightmare. <laughs> Archfiend seems pretty bad. Are these just, like, cards to combo with the Ultimate Trano? It seems kind of cheesy. Not in a good way. Uh, Quaking Mirror Forest, this was like the other big reprint. So the reason that this set, or this uh, release was so good was because of the uh, the Quaking Mirror Forest and Twin Dissers reprint. I mean, right off the bat, that's that's way more value. Even if they just reprint, put one of these in here, that'd be automatically more value um, than the structure deck is worth. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, those are welcome. I actually didn't own Quaking Mirror Forces, so I'm glad that I now have a set of them. Um, Grand Horde of Heaven, and then Seeker Blast. I don't know why those cuts are in there, but... And this, this super cool token of dinosaur eggs, so you can use your, uh, Jurassic egg, I, I guess. Um, yeah, Twitter. But that's, that's the structure deck. Um, now I'm gonna pause the video and show you what I built using just three structure decks. Okay, so I, I took some time to read through all the cards uh, that I didn't know, and uh, I put this deck together. I think it's probably pretty good. I, I'd assume that Simo came up with a similar build. Uh, like I said, I didn't actually look at it, but, uh, anyway, so we're playing, uh, lots of three of, so we're playing three of the main boss monster. I don't know how many you play in the real version. Most people are playing, like, two or three. Um, I, I've seen less depending on what you're doing, but anyway, uh, I think three for this particular version would be necessary. Um, obviously three of both of the Overraptor and the Miscellaneousaurus, um, those are your main star players. I think Miscellaneous Source is actually one of the be better dinosaurs just overall. Um, it's really versatile, so yeah, I like those cards a lot. Um, I'm playing three Triano Infinity. I feel like uh, one of the problems when you don't have Exceed Monsters is that you don't have like a good win condition. Um, so Triano Infinity, you're just trying to get up to some attack. I mean, you have the you don't have Snow in this particular version, but uh, you do have. Uh, Miscellaneousaurus and the boss monster to uh, banish some cards. So yeah, three Triano Infinity. They don't need to be at that much attack, just two or three K. That's pretty good. Um, the six baby dinosaurs. Um, these are pretty standard. So yeah, that's makes sense. Um, and then I went with uh, three Megal Smasher X and a Rescue Rabbit. Once again, just just damage. And then with a uh, Megal Smasher, we have Unexpected Die as well to get it to the field because Unexpected Die doesn't really have any restrictions besides the no field thing. Um, it doesn't, like, destroy it in the end phase or anything, but, uh, yeah, you can just summon this guy from deck. It's, it's more fodder for, like, all your effects, too. Um, and with that, I'm playing 3 Lost World. I don't know how good this card is, like, in general, but, uh, when you're playing, like, the normal monster engine that we're playing, um, that's kind of neat, and the eggs are kind of cool, and the attack boost is kind of, or the attack decrease is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. That card's neat, and, like I said, I like the artwork. Uh, 3 Twin Twisters, because it's, like, really good just in general. Uh, three fossil dig to mainly see the um, babies if you need like combo pieces, um, but obviously it serves level fours as well. It's just rotas are really good. That's that's all. Um, three swords of concealing light because uh, this is really good just in general. Um, I mean, usually in a perfect world you'd like to just pop stuff with the ult the ultimate conductor triano, but sometimes you can't, so this will help you stall. Um, three unexpected die because you want to open it, so you have to play three. And then three Quaking Mirror Force is the only trap. I mean, in general, dinosaurs don't play a lot of traps, but I feel like in this particular deck, Quaking was like the, the outstanding good trap, so you wanted to play three. Um, some other stuff that I did consider, I did consider um, Survival's End. Here, I'll put these away so you know, not part of the deck profile. So I did, I did consider Survival's End, and I did also sort of consider the <laughs> Black um, Bachidos, just like spot removal. Um, these cards aren't really that great, but... Uh, I mean, there there are actually a lot of good cards in here. I remember doing the uh, the Lights Run Structure Deck uh, combination profile thing like I did with this one, and uh, I was really struggling to find 40 cards, but uh, actually this wasn't very hard at all. I mean, um, 
even with just this, like I said, if you have a couple rank fours, mainly the uh, Evolzars, like Dolka and Lagia, um, you have a half decent deck. So uh, yeah, if you don't have like any dinosaur stuff, but you have generic stuff, you would actually probably make a uh, regional worthy deck out of just three structure decks. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye.